by Wynn if he can run on and Storm Boy will be the one to catch if he can jump, Lizzie. Let him jump. I'm hoping Jolly Star can go back to that first up performance, which was absolutely incredible. And if I was to pop anything else in, I think Growing Empire is the real X factor in what is an amazing race. So still one or two to come up here. So. Just saw Traffic Warden just get really anxious in the barriers there with Jamie Carr. I noticed when he out. went out, he went out pretty early. He was pretty uh, coltish in the yard at the back in the mounting yard. And, yeah, he's just played up a little bit. So the vet will run their eye over him. So he's been well back this horse. We know that. He's been a set for this race. His form is colossal. He's a magnificent animal. Jamie Carr hoping to have her first ride in an Everest. We wait on the vet now. So he reared in the gates. She's going to jump back on by the look of it. And there's Zach Lloyd with Steffi Magnetica waiting and Zach now brings up Steffi. Up she comes. Traffic Warden's about to rejoin them with Bella Nipotina. She's an old mare who has got so much to offer. She's won $11.5 million in prize money. She's been everywhere this one. Tough as tough. Up she comes. One to come in. Traffic Warden. 12 months we've been waiting. Well, hang on a sec. He might be out here. He is out. I reckon they've closed the gates. Are we about to go without him here? Lights on, we're about to go. Late scratching traffic warden. Briefly, it's been taken off as Jamie Carr is off traffic warden, who is involved in that incident in the starting gates. And we're just waiting on the final call from behind the barriers. Is he running or not? Traffic Warden, he's out. He's out. Traffic Warden, a late scratching. Traffic Warden withdrawn here in the Everest. And we're just about ready to run. Waiting for the all clear. Jolly Star is the favorite. Very sad for Traffic Warden all involved there in the final seconds loading them into the barriers there's the light now and we're ready to go the gates are back here in the everest they're off and racing to the massive roar of the crowd bella nipotina came out running by now so did growing empire lady of camelot's right there and storm boy really revved up goes to fourth private eye battling out wide then steffi magnetic or i and me back on the fence jolly star gets back together with sunshine in paris i wish i went out very deep and giga kicks hunting through on the rails bella nipotina couldn't cross growing empire our Storm Boy's whipping up underneath the pair. He responded to the early urgings, and now Storm Boy moved up on the inside of Growing Empire at the 600 metres. Bella Nipotina's forward, three wide, no cover. I am me tucking up on the fence to the back to Lady of Camelot. Private Eye, Steffi Magnetica, Giga kicked the fence. Sunshine in Paris coming wide from I Wish I Win. Jolly Star's got it all to do. Storm Boy at the 300, leads the way from Bella Nipotina, then Growing Empire. Giga kick making ground on the inside than Lady of Camelot. Bella Nipotina moved up. Bella Nipotina with Growing Empire. Up the inside is Giga Kick. Giga Kick going to Bella Nipotina. Bella's in front though. Bella Nipotina wins the Everest from Giga Kick. I think Growing Empire third. Flushing home Jolly Star. Then Private Eye, Lady of Camelot, Sunshine in Paris. Then Steffi Magnetica, Storm Boy. I am me and I wish I win. Magnificent race, an incredible classic run up the straight between two wonderful horses. Bella Nipotina with Craig Williams winning a second Everest. Kirama, first runners in the race, gets the win. She takes a prize money close to $20 million, third richest ever in the country. It was there to be won. Giga Kick looked like he would create some history. Katie, it was a classic. She is simply breathtaking, this mare. Every single time she goes around, she is the most genuine mare I've ever seen. Uh, from drawing a barrier like that to be able to three wide the trip and still fight on a horse that had all the favours up the inside and Giga Kick, she deserves all of 
these accolades. Quarter Horse, she was an $80,000 premier, English premier purchase as a young yearling. And what a ride to take her prize money to over $20 million. It's just unbelievable. Kick a kick was incredible. Mark Zara and Craig Williams battling it out. And Growing Empire was right up there, clacker as well. Emma's not too far away, but Bella Nipotina, a seven-year-old mare, Richo, it was just a magnificent contest. It had the lot, it had the late scratching. What a ride by Willow. He's got a couple of Everest and a Kosciuszko, and he's got a Grand Slam. It's incredible to believe this story of uh, a filly who used to be, you know, a flimsy filly as a little two-year-old filly when she was with uh, uh, Lindsay Park Racing. How she's furnished there, Tim Porter's colours. And for Tim and Mick and Elise Johnston, we saw a whole team of them. Little Noah's just absolutely ecstatic.